good morning, uh, happy Christmas Eve, um, if you don't know, I'm a Penguins fan, um, but anyway, I just want to tell you about this crazy thing that happened to me this weekend, um, a couple months ago, I was, you know, I was planning, um, to take my dad to a, uh, Penguins game in Raleigh, North Carolina, and, um, I made it, I planned it out, I had everything ready, um, everything was packed away, um, you know, I make a list of everything that I need, need to take with me, um, we left, um, yesterday, uh, no, not yesterday, I'm sorry, we left on, on Saturday morning, um, my, I didn't tell my dad where we were going, I just said what the weather was going to be, um, the night before, and I told him that, you know, we were going to be, um, flying, I didn't tell him where, I said we're flying out of Baltimore, um, so I go down there, um, Saturday morning, and I have a Penguins jersey, I'm like, I'm like, um, we're, we're going to the Pens game, and I hand it to him, and he was just really shocked, but at the same time, he's like, oh my gosh, we gotta go, you know, there's traffic, he's like, you know, the holiday weekend, he's like, we need to leave, um, so I was like, oh, we'll be okay, and then I, you know, then I kind of started like, oh, uh oh, <laughs> maybe we do really need to leave. Um, so I started to rush around, um, and I had put my phone down like, on the um, computer table, and you know, definitely me. I'm sure there's other people that can re relate. I take my phone everywhere, um, and you know, I, I, I you know, I. I double checked my room. I I I thought I had everything with me. I get to my car, and we leave. Um. And then we're you know about twenty ish minutes from the airport, and then I start wondering about my phone. And then I, I have an Apple Watch, and on there you can uh, actually um, select like um, a button that says as um, displays a phone. And that would tell you where your phone was. And at that point, I didn't even have the option to click it. And I was like, oh, crap. Um, and then I started frantically looking, looking around in my car for my phone. And I could not find it. And I had a little bit of a, um, I guess you could say, oh, shit moment. Um, I pulled over to the side of the road. I looked everywhere. And I'm like, oh, shit. I just left my phone at home. Now, it wasn't quite that calm. Um, you know, there was other curse words involved. And I know I, I just can't believe it. Um, you know, because everything on, is on my phone. You know, all my apps. The tickets are my thing. We stayed on an Airbnb. Um, Lyft. Um, fortunate enough, though, it wasn't the end of the end of the world um i had my apple watch like i said so i could access my email then um which had the confirmation codes um for the, for the airline um so that worked out fine um i could i was still able to listen to music um for my watch so the plane went down okay um and then you know when, when i got to the airport you know in baltimore before we left you know i i started um I called AT and T. I said, I don't know what you guys can do. I'm hoping for like a Christmas miracle, but I think I left my phone at home and I'm going to North Carolina. Um, but there was un unfortunately there was nothing for them to do. And I'm like, oh crap! Like, what am I? What am I supposed to do now? Um, I was thinking, okay, I could go to an Apple Store, buy a new new phone, and just that'll be it. Um, but they weren't open when I was calling. Um, and then I got this genius idea. I'm like, okay, I could buy a straight talk phone because it's you buy the phone. There's no contract. You buy you buy just a month and you're you're okay, and you'll get charged after it. I was like, okay. So I looked on it, and I found one an iPhone six for a hundred dollars. Um, so I was like, okay, that that could work. Um, so we we land in Raleigh, and I guess I'm kind of you know just kind of like still like razzled by like the whole experience of leaving your phone at home um that you know i 
I didn't realize that you could um, use like an iPad or um, 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 a computer to like request a lift. So anyway, I took a taxi um, to the Walmart, and I I thought it was gonna t I thought it was gonna be like a lot of money. Actually, it wasn't too bad. It was came out to be including like a little bit of a tip because I don't know what the cab etiquette is. I think that was my first cab I took. Um, it came out to fifty dollars. Um, I think it was almost twenty five to thirty minute ride, so I don't think that's terrible for a cab. Um, but anyway, we got there, um, and it was just so funny. You know, here, here we have our suitcases. And I was like, all right, Dad, just um, just wait out here with the suitcases. <laughs> I mean, this is at Walmart, you know. It's just so funny. And I go in, I go in, I, I'm like, you know, <laughs> you know, you're just stressed out. You're you're not, you're just trying to be in a rush. And I just looked over at one of the employees. I'm like, can I get this this iPhone, you know, the 6? It's $100. It said $200. i am like, that is $100. It's $100. He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. Um, I get like a one of the month and I'm like, okay, how does this work? They actually sent me with the phone and I was able to do the activation via that. <sighs> but then, you know, I'm setting up the iPhone and I had to do an update. And as you know, doing an update on public Wi-Fi, it's not always the easiest, especially probably a huge store, um, like Walmart. So it was taking forever. Um, you know, I think I was, I, I was, you know, set up with, with straight talk, but like, you know, here it's trying to update everything. So I can't, you know, I waited, I was on the phone for like 30 minutes, you know, and she'd be like, okay, what's the status? Cause you, you know, they, you want to get the home screen, um, so they can, you know, make sure that everything's working. And I'm like, it's still processing. <laughs> I, you know, I'm like, okay, at that point, I'm like, okay, I'm going to actually go, um, and, you know, I'm like, this is going to take forever, so I went, I was like, dad, you know, this is taking forever, I'm like, I'm going to walk over to Ruby Tuesday and see if they have better Wi-Fi, so I get over there, it's still not good, um, my dad starts walking over, he's like, let's go near Starbucks, um, let's see if it works, and, you know, I kept, I was thinking, okay, is there any way that this can go faster? Like, I, I had it start over a couple times. You know, is there any way I can bypass the whole update? But, well, there was no way. But my dad, had, like I said, had an iPad, and it said you can either set up your phone manually or if you have an iPad or iPhone nearby um, that's operating on a certain uh, um, OIS, or I think. I mean, I have all these Apple products. I, I forget what it's called. Um, that you could actually... It might be like easier to do that. So I did that and actually it started to work pretty good. Um, so it was taking time. Um, and then I had to think, oh, let me search the iPad and request a lift. And I was able to. Um, so actually, just about when the lift arrived, I noticed, oh, here we have, you know, it actually started the download. All right. But now I don't have Wi Fi anymore. So um, there goes that. Um, so we get dropped off the, at the Airbnb, and, you know, here I run into another problem. Well, the, the problem is, is that, you know, I don't have, I don't have the passcode to get into the Airbnb because I, my, first of all, my, my watch does not have all the apps as my phone does, and Airbnb was not on there. So, um, I was able to access my Airbnb account on the iPad because I knew my password. Um, however, it was like, we need to verify this is you, so we need to t send you a text or call you. I'm like, I don't have my phone with me. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So, I called my mom, and then, you know, she didn't answer. She didn't answer. I'm like, oh. I'm at this point, I'm just about done. Like, I'm just done with the day. And eventually, my, my mom picks up. She's like, I'm on a movie. <laughs> I'm like, Mom, I needed, I needed to tell me the code that, you know, Airbnb being sent. So I got that. We were going to get in. You know, I'm like, oh, thank God. Then it's like, okay, major things I need to get left. 
and I didn't get the tickets. Um, as I said before, everything was on my phone. Um, all my apps, and the thing is, you know, my passwords are not, are different for things, and I don't know what they are. Um, so, you know, if I don't know what they are, um, that's part of my, you know, um, with technology and, um, with, with security, um, I make my passwords very complicated and, you know, without my phone, I mean, I'm just, you know, some, some sites I know or things that I use, I know others, I had no idea including including my email password i i don't i don't know what it is my heart um so <laughs> there's no way for that um so anyway i was like oh man this is just so eventually you know i connected to the, to the wi-fi and i got left i got i um i set up my um my th my phone or the new phone um, with, with my dad's email, I had, cause I had my mom forward that email, um, when I was at the airport to his email. So I was able to, I remembered my Ticketmaster account, so, or email and all that and password. So I was able to get that. I got the tickets. I got Lyft. I'm like, okay, like now we have everything like I need. And at first I was kind of like, okay, why is this not working? Like, is it just overwhelmed with everything? With, like all the apps trying to like download and like update I don't I don't know um but anyway um you know <laughs> I mean if you ever if you're ever traveling and you just forget like especially your phone it's just like like I mean you, it could have been a lot worse um actually um throughout the um you know through stopping at different places, different restaurants and whatnot, you know, I was able to connect to like a better Wi-Fi connection, and there and then like my app slowly um, started to show up. Um, but the main things were Lyft because that was our transportation, and being able to access the tickets. Um, now I will say that, you know, I did think about having a um, a reservation for rental car. I I I um. A few months when I was planning, you know, I was thought about doing it. It was only going to be like a hundred dollars. Um, back, you know, a few months ago or so. Um, but then I was like, you know what? We'll just take Lyft. I don't have to worry about parking. It's probably going to be a lot cheaper to do that. Um, so one option what I th thought about doing was, oh, why? Maybe I could just take um, make a, a rental reservation. Then I don't have to worry about having to do a Lyft. Um, and it came out to be like two hundred dollars minimum. Um, I was like, I'm not gonna pay two hundred dollars. So we'll just do Lyft. Um, and like I said, I had to do that taxi for it. But you know, you know, I look at it. It could have been a lot worse. At least I didn't lose my leave my wallet at home because then at that point I don't have my license. Um, so it actually worked out pretty well. The whole thing about dropping the money for a phone, um, I'm not. I mean, it could. It honestly is not that bad because. I'm going to repurpose that phone and give it to my dad to use. Um, he doesn't have a smartphone yet. Um, he's definitely old school still. So, and he's fine with it. Um, so, he's going to get that iPhone to use. Um, it's going to be repurposed. So, I don't really have a problem with it. Plus, you know, like I said, I was able to take pictures. I was able to take Lyft. I was able to um, connect to, you know, social media, um, access my tickets, etc. cetera. Um, so overall, the trip went really well. Um, I, I just, you know, I just can't believe, you know, I, I left my phone at home. I know it happens and whatnot, but you look at yourself and it's just like, how can I leave my phone at home? You know, I plan all ahead for this and, you know, I make sure I have everything. And then, it, you know, we're only 20 minutes from the airport. Now, I live in, I live near, in near, um, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and I, I fly Southwest um, mostly. I have their their Rapid Rewards program, um, so I use points to to travel. Um, and 
So I have the closest Southwest is um, Baltimore for me. So there's no point. It's not really a thing. With, oh, if you're only certain miles away from home. No, we were we were over an hour away. So there's no way we're going back home. There's no way we're going, you know, to pick it up and go. You know, it's basically, well, it is what it is. And we have to just roll with it. Um, and I'm just fortunate enough. And also the thing, how, how was I able to... Um, to get all those apps and all that, uh, I was able to update. Like I said, I updated the the phone, and then also I um, I restored my iCloud backup, and that was a lifesaver. <laughs> um, but it's you know it's a really amazing how, um, especially nowadays that we are, or at least for me, um, I'm sure there's other people out there too. But we're so we're so um, attached to our phones. Um, you know, my dad says, "Oh, you're addicted to it." Blah blah blah. And, um, you know, for me, you know, everything is on my phone. And when you don't have that, it's definitely an uncomfortable feeling. Um, I think I would have been able to get away, away with not having a phone had I had transportation, you know, with Lyft and everything like that and have the tickets handy. You know, I think I could have swung it without... A phone, but like unfortunately, like I said, I needed those things. I want to take pictures, you know. I never, I don't think I've ever been to Raleigh, North Carolina. You know, I'm there for a Pens game, and the Pens did win three nothing. There were so many Pens Pens fans there. You know, it's kind of like the experience. You know, I love traveling, you know, and I want to at least take pictures and whatnot. Um, but anyway, um, I just had to tell y'all that crazy story. I know this is a super long video um but this video is literally how i left my phone at home um and it was just off the wall crazy but anyway um happy christmas eve um tomorrow is christmas so i hope everyone has a merry christmas um or happy holiday whichever you prefer um definitely have a great time with family friends um Remember that it's not about the gifts, but it's about, you know, just think about time with family because, you, you know, life is short. You don't know when it's going to end. Um, definitely, you know, love your love, your loved ones, your family, your friends. Tell them much how much you appreciate them um, because, you know, to me, um, life is not about, um, or at least Christmas time, it, it's not about the gifts. Um, it's basically, you know, the family time and spending time with family for me. Um, yeah, sure, gifts are nice and whatnot, um, but the, it's the little things that, that count. Um, so everyone, definitely stay blessed, have a safe and fun and um, uh, Christmas, and um, hopefully Santa, you know, actually makes it down, right? <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, like I said, um, have a Merry Christmas, and... Uh, and definitely talk to you guys later. All right. Bye.